You remember when we all had the cable boxes and we paid way too much every month to watch things on television and then streaming came out and it was like, ooh, you know, I, I can just get like Netflix and HBO Max and have what I want. And streaming was supposed to be this alternative to, you know, this big expensive television bill for your cable provider. And it's so funny how the streaming world has now, I mean, I have like six or seven streaming services. I, I have a multi-vendor TV environment and which platform is playing which show and okay, Netflix streams to my Chromecast, but this other one doesn't stream to the Roku. Like, so it just reminds me, you know, the kids will want to watch something and I'm like, okay, well, which app is that in? Which device can I cast it to or send it to, you know, in the smart devices? And it really feels like a multi-vendor networking environment. <laughs> like, you know, and, and that's why like, you know, for streaming, right? If you could just wave a magic wand, hey, here's everything and it just pulls it in and it plays on everything. Like it doesn't exist. You know, anytime a market gets all segmented like that and, and disparate and separated, and then people like us have to be the intelligence of the system. Daddy, I want to watch Doc McStuffins. Well, God, where is that? You know, I have seven streaming services, or maybe it's through my cable box. I don't know. And then you get to a point where you're paying so much for all the streaming services. It's just as much as cable was, which was a better interface and experience. So to, to me, that's what multi-vendor feels like when you're managing that environment is just, I have eight streaming services. My kids want to watch something and I don't remember where the heck that thing was and where I can cast it to. And the user experience isn't, top of mind or the priority of that whole ecosystem. It's really just, you know, well, we want to sell you this streaming service or we want to sell you this iron and this solution. I don't see anybody taking a step back and going, well, how can we make the streaming experience more fluid and easy for the user? Or how can we make managing multi-vendor data center fabric, you know, easier for the user? But I've seen that so far. Again, I haven't been here long and I'm not trying to be a company shill, right? I, I take my integrity seriously and I'm not like, hey, you know, but it's just my honest to goodness, authentic, you know, reaction to what I'm seeing here. Um, Juniper seems to be tackling the automation thing uh, uniquely, which, which I think is a real differentiator in the market. So yeah, I'm really excited to be here because of those kind of things we're doing, you know, it, it, it helps going to a vendor and not feeling like you've lost your integrity. I really believe in a lot of the things we're doing here, which helps. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. And, and I'm, you know, I'm happy to be here as well for, you know, very similar reasons. Although, you know, like I said, I have been in this, in the vendor side of the industry for a long time, but I really like uh, Juniper and I really like the things we're doing and, and the way we're helping people out 